metal? Why metal? Well, it's a good question. And that was the question I had for my instructor during my first sculpture class. He said well, we're going to be using metal. And I said, well, I'm going to be dropping this class. But I didn't. I stuck around. And when I saw the metal melt and reform, I was hooked. I was also studying anthropology at the time, particularly Indonesian mask making techniques. And the two classes combined threw me into a world I never would have imagined being in. And I haven't left it yet. No regrets. So metal, yes, metal. Steel and copper. Copper, my favorite medium. I like the colors that can come from copper. It's a very versatile metal. You will also see some of my photography. I have scenics and abstracts, macros, and something I call the Twilight series as well, where I'll have pictures of human bodies that I turn into more of a surreal landscape type looking photograph. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. Garden art. 
Now the garden art is made with steel and stained glass. And the reason why I started making the garden art is because I'm a gardener. However, there was one spot in my yard that I wouldn't really grow anything, but I wanted color there, so I thought, well, you know, I can make some garden art. And it'd be better if I had the stained glass for color too. So I made a couple and it worked really great. And then I made more and more and more and more and more. So I had a whole inventory eventually and I thought, well, you know, maybe other people could use this too. And a lot of people liked it. And uh, so that's the story of the garden art basically. Photography. I have scenic photographs where I believe the best part was actually being out there to take the photographs. I also have macros, close-ups of flowers, and abstracts and whatnot. And I also have Twilight series where I photograph human bodies and adjust the photographs so that they look like a surreal, tranquil. Thank you for taking the time to look at my work. You can see more samples and contact information at persuasivedesign.com.